This is InfoLife TV headline news. At a late night meeting Sunday, newly appointed Kadima Chairwoman Sipi Livni and Defense Minister Hood Barak agreed to cooperate and make serious efforts towards forming a new government. Barak and Livni spoke for an hour and a half and are expected to meet again after President Shimon Peres officially appoints Livni with the task of forming the next government. After 33 months in office, Prime Minister Hodormert, facing a number of corruption allegations, formally tendered his resignation to President Shimon Peres. On Sunday evening, Olmert entered and left the president's residence by a side entrance, thereby avoiding the press, where he met with Perez for some 30 minutes. The president later said it had been a difficult evening for Olmert and that he appreciated the respected way in which he handed over his power. Israel will not be able to avoid a military confrontation with Iran, former IDF Chief of Staff Moshe Bougi Alon said Sunday, and called on the international community to stand up to Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad like they did against Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany. Today we in the West are facing the same situation, the lack of decisiveness towards a threat that is no less severe than that which Hitler posed in 1939, he said. Palestinian Authority officials fear the eruption of another wave of infighting in the West Bank, as well as a series of attacks initiated by Hamas against targets in Israel, all aimed at destabilizing President Mahmoud Abbas's regime and hindering the Israeli-Palestinian peace process. According to officials, Hamas leaders in Gaza and Damascus have ordered a number of cells to prepare to launch attacks against leading Palestinian officials. The Tel Aviv Stock Exchange showed positive signs Sunday after the United States announced its recovery plan to bolster banks and restore stability in the financial system by purchasing $700 billion in bad assets. The Tel Aviv 25 index rose by 8.4% after plunging 11% last week. New on InfoLive TV, a link that grants access to a wide range of InfoLive TV video reports. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.